Hello and welcome to episode 14 of Flea Market Finds, where I go to my local flea market, buy some stuff, bring it back home, sit on the floor, and show you all. That's pretty much the premise of it, so let's get started. So last weekend, October 7th, I went out to my local flea market and I bought some stuff, but it wasn't enough for a video. So I'm going to show one of the items here, and the second item that I got out there was a 42-inch 4K 3D smart TV for only 50 bucks which was just crazy and it's it's all working and stuff um yeah pretty stoked about that and also i now have to up the entry fee because i go to the flea market really early now instead of going there for eight o'clock when it really opens i go there for about seven o'clock to seven ten so i can get there for when everyone's putting out this stuff ready for when it opens at eight o'clock but you have to pay five dollars fifty to get in which is a little bit on the ridiculous side but but I get access to all the cool shit first. So I'm going to show you what I got last week and then we'll move on to what I got today, the 14th of October. That was a lot of rambling. So the only item worth showing from last week, apart from the TV, which it's it's a 42-inch TV, you know, whatever. These. These are a pair of LeBron Soldier 8 shoes. And I seen these, had a look at the bottom, and I'm like, there's not a lot of drag going on. Uppers look fairly good, fairly consistent. Uh, the date code, I think, was 2010, if I'm not mistaken. No, two th 2014, sorry, 2014. This little Velcro here, you undo it. There you go, and then you can just, you just zip it up. There we go. And then you can put it around like that. And there you go, you can tighten it up however you want it however you want your support for the shoe to be. But these were only 15 bucks. And I thought, yeah, why not? Why not? I personally won't wear these. I will probably move them on. Um, but because they're LeBron shoes um, and they're part of the Soldier series, I think that they were a pretty good deal. Okay, I'm gonna say that that strap is super annoying, but it's got some pretty cool designs on it and there's multiple color choices of this particular shoe. I'll also display the information of the shoe here as well. I can't really get to the tag at the moment because I've tied it all up. I've put these on and then laced them to my specification, so yeah. But otherwise, uh, it's, yeah, as I said, in fairly good nick. Probably just needs a good, you know, quick clean-up, quick five-minute clean-up, and it'll be good to go. So yeah, 15 bucks for these, pretty happy with them. So now let's move on to what I got today. Also, I'm not going to count them in the final tally-up. They can just, you know, be on their own. Okay, so jumping on to today's items. I have my backpack, and I have a plastic bag. We're gonna start with the plastic bag first. Now, when I first got to the market, I was walking around all the aisles and all that sort of stuff, and I came to this table, and then some stuff on the ground, and it was an old guy running it. And there was some EQT Adidas shoes. Um, there was a pair of these shoes, which I should have got, but he wanted 50 bucks for them. He wasn't really open for negotiation at the time. And I was like, ah, oh, God damn it. Then he had these and he wanted 30 bucks for them. And I said, nah, it's okay. And this was, a, you know, 7.30 in the morning. By the time I was ready to leave the market, which was about nine o'clock, I went back to him and he still had the shoes sitting there. And I said, I'll give you 20 bucks for them. He's like, uh, 25. And I'm like, yeah, but I've only got a $20 note, so I'll give you 20. And he's like, ah, right, whatever. <laughs> so I got these for 20 bucks. And the reason why I wanted to get them, number one, because I've seen them at the Nike outlet and they've always been screaming, please buy me, please buy me. And I've just went, no, I'm not, I'm not even gonna touch you. They were $80 at my Nike outlet. And the second reason is because of my Air Jordan Fly 89 kicks that I got recently, I said, look like a pair of these. So these are a pair of Nike sock dart trainers. And th there's not really much to explain. It's, it's a sock on a sole which is the current trend of shoes at the moment. But the sole is really comfortable and has a lot of cushioning and all that sort of stuff. There's the back there with a the little Nike jewel just encased in there. That acts as a sort of a pull tab when you put the shoe on. You swoosh there. The little sort of cage that goes around, which I actually didn't know that you can just undo these. 
I, I had no idea. I thought it was just there for decoration, but no, this actually serves a purpose. Had no idea. You can tell I look at my shoes very cleanly. And, yeah, the, the sock material, it's got a bit of dirt there, but otherwise, like, it hasn't really been worn that much. I mean, it's probably been worn a few times. There's no sort of... Well, there's a few stones in there, but there's no drag or anything like that, which is what I am looking for. But yes, yeah, just some stains and stuff. But the thing is, though, it's a Nike ID shoe, which means that it is a custom shoe. It's a base model of the sock trainer, but it's customized with initials, which is TJH, uh, the Jiggly Headfucker. That'll, that'll do, the Jiggly Headfucker. That's pretty good. And there is the code in there, and I'm pretty sure the code corresponds to this custom shoe in particular. Uh, but otherwise, we know it's a Nike sock dart trainer. Uh, the insole has Nike ID written on it. You can't remove it. It is glued down. But it's got, you know, this paint speckled effect going around the mids there and all that sort of stuff. And it looks quite nice. And same goes for the other shoe as well. It's pretty much the exact same thing. Just, yeah, this cage, which I just, I didn't, did not even know that you could take that apart. So there you go. So, thank you, the jiggly head fucker, for these shoes. I also did try them on and they do fit quite nicely. And just so you know that I'm not crazy or anything, here's the Jordans and then here are the sock trainers. Do you see what I mean? You know, they're just... Yeah, fair enough, this has the leather upper and this um, other material here for the uppers, whereas this is all sort of the sock dart, but you know, it just, it looks like they've just sort of used this for the basis, then crossed some Jordans, crossed some other things, crossed some other things, crossed some other things, and made these. But anyways, I'm not talking about them. I'm gonna put these to one side, and we're gonna move on, because that was a very long, very, very long introduction for just them. Jesus. So moving on to Le Backpack. Le Backpack. I don't know what I've got in here, actually. Oh yeah, I know what I've got in here. Okay, I walked around the market several times today, just up and down several aisles, just because. And when I got to one of the last aisles, which it was about nearing 8.20, I think it was, and a guy was setting up, and he had some phones on the table, and I was like, eh, there's a Samsung S2 we wanted 25 bucks for. I said, nah. I found this instead. It's the PVP, um, PVP, <laughs> it's a PVP. This is a little sort of NES clone thing. I actually got a few of them that I was gonna originally review on this channel, but I'm actually gonna review them on my other channel because that's more focused on gaming and, you know, speed runs and all that sort of stuff. But I bought this because it just looks hilarious, because, you know, it looks like a PSP, but it's called a PvP, and I do have one of these already. And it came with the game cartridge, which has Crash Bandicoot sitting right on there. But this game card is, uh, 999,999 in one. I wonder. Actually, what this does is, I believe this pushes in a certain contact and then chooses the games, but let's see if it just turns on. Oh, doesn't. That's because somebody has decided to modify this, as you can see there, and uh, put their own sort of power thing. I don't even know what that's for, to be honest. Uh, it does have a battery, which I can actually charge this using my little um, charger thing, Majiggy. So we'll do that and have a proper look at this. But this was only five bucks which really I can't complain about because it'll make a funny little video if I ever get around to reviewing it, of course, and if it, the thing actually works. But yeah, I just I just thought it was funny, you know, and had, has all the triangle cross and all the buttons feel squishy. And yeah, it's super cheap, but that's, that's the whole joy of it. Now, as usual, I went to my friend John out at the market and he wasn't there last week because he sprained his ankle and, well, couldn't drive and all that sort of stuff. He was there this week. Um, unfortunately, his car had been broken into and all his stuff was stolen. So, he basically has nothing now, but he was able to provide me with a Motorola 2nd Gen, I believe, 
it's got a pretty busted screen, you know, and you can even see the flex ribbon under there. Um, let's go ahead and pull it open and see if there's an SD card in here. Uh, no SD card. It is an 8 gig model, dual SIM, and oh, there is a SIM. Oh, there's, there is a SIM card in here. Hang on, there is a SIM card. Yay, there is a SIM card in there. But otherwise, uh, I don't know if it works, but he gave this to me for free because we're still trying to fix the whole MacBook issue. Once he gets a whole bunch of good stuff, then we're pretty much just going to do a trade-off. Okay, so just testing this real quickly. It does display, but half of the screen is all smashed up, all lines and stuff. But hey, you know, I'll just do whatever with it. All right, nothing else there. So let's move on to the other section of their backpack and there is quite a lot of things in here so on my last trip through the flea market when i went back to the guy with the nike socked art trainers i stopped past this guy who was just putting a lot of th sort of just random stuff on the table just throwing it on there and i seen these and i went oh you guys are gonna love this you guys are gonna get a kick out of these <laughs> kick oh boy why why did i even buy these why okay so here they are, this Louis Vuitton slipper. It's got a generic sole. Yes, they are size 44 as seen on the marking there. They don't look like they've been worn, but I've seen them and I've seen all the Louis Vuitton stamps and stuff and I went, oh, oh I've, got, I've got to grab them just for, the, just for the lulls. But there's no tags or anything like that in them. The insole is removable. Uh, they used cardboard to... You, you know what, I'm just going to put this back and pretend like I didn't see anything. But yeah, it's got this like little strap here and, you know, pull tab here at the back. And it's not really a pull tab, but it's a sort of a leather, velvety material. And uh, yeah, all the Louis Vuittons, all the little tags and all that sort of stuff. They just looked cool. And then the Gucci ones, like that, you can see that this here is pretty much the exact same, except this, this is more of a canvasy sort of material, and the bottom looks sort of exactly the same, and the inside is exactly the same, but there are no tags, no identifying marks or anything like that. I looked when I was there, when I seen them, and I said to the guy, okay, how much do you want for them? And I was expecting him to say, these are real Louis Vuitton, these are real Gucci. I want a hundred bucks for them and I want a hundred bucks for them. And I just, I went, okay, how, how, how much do you want for them? And he looks at him, he goes, just give me 10 bucks. I went, okay, sweet, 10 bucks. So that would make a very interesting, you know, portion of the video to show that <laughs> these god awful things I wonder if they do fit me or not. Because I don't... I, honestly, I don't think they've been worn because there's there's no, you know, marks or anything like that anywhere. And I think it'd be funny <laughs> taking a photo on Instagram of these and be like, look at my Louis Vuitton slippers. Mmm. <laughs> hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try one on. The verdict is that they do fit, except they're just a little bit on the tight side. But still, they look funny, so they, they, do, they do look quite hilarious. This is what Market Finds is all about, having to look for some weirdo bargains. Total for these, 10 bucks, so 5 bucks each, and uh, they can go to the collection. Because if, it, look, to be honest, if I was to buy these off DHgate, imagine how much they'd be. Actually, I will look on DHgate and see if anyone's selling anything like this or not. Because I, I just, yeah, they're just quite funny. The next item are these. I like Vans, and i seen these under the table. They're a little bit, you know, this is going to be weird to say, but they're a little bit crusty. You know, the, the leather's really hard and stiffened, and there's a little bit of drag to them and stuff. But it was a colour scheme that I kind of liked. You know, the grey, and then the black, and the red stripe and everything. It just looked really, really cool. These are US 12s. Just in there, US 12s. And the insole is a little bit worn out. And these appear to be the original laces. I'm not too sure. But it's sort of, see how it sort of curves? So they've probably been in storage for a while. So I'd have to probably put them on and wear them around and stuff. One, once I clean them, obviously, and then they'll be fine. 
but the off the wall tab has worn off completely. Uh, yeah, it's worn off on that one too. But I seen these under the table and I just thought, oh, why not? I'll just ask for them. And I said, yeah, how much do you want for them? And I got five bucks. And I thought, yeah, that was all right. And that was really early when I first got to the market. So five bucks for them. Uh, obviously no negotiations there. I just thought, oh, why not? But yeah, I'll give them a bit of a clean up and stuff because I've only got like one or two pairs of old school shoes. I think I've got the ones from Japan and then I've got another pair, I think. Uh, old school uh, red and gum vans. So I haven't really got any sort of normal traditional ones. As I said, I like the color scheme. They're size 12, so they will be fine. But yeah, five bucks, can't complain. And now these ones are in a bag. In a bag, they were in a bag and now they're in a bag. So about 7.45 or so, I was just walking past some random stalls and there was a pair of these underneath the table. And I looked and I was like, oh, I am slightly interested in these, but there was no one to be found. There was no one in the car. There was all stuff on the table. And I'm like, anyone could just walk here and just pinch these, but whatever. So I stood around like an idiot holding these shoes, waiting for someone to turn up. And then I went, stuff it. I put them back, walked away and then turned around and she's there. I'm like, she's some sort of David Blaine, David Copperfield, Penn and Teller, magician thing she just, you know just pops out of nowhere so i went back there and i said yeah, i'm interested in these she goes 20 bucks i said no nah, 10 she goes 15 uh, and once again they do this thing at the market they're like these are 90 bucks on ebay and i'm like i understand that they're 90 bucks on ebay but this is the market do not expect to be paying eBay prices out of the market. This is a flea market. It's stuff, trash and treasure. It's cheap. If you want eBay pricing, go onto eBay, put the stuff on eBay, problem solved. But a lot of people are just like, oh no, but eBay's got them for blah, blah, blah. Well, go sell them on eBay. Go, go sell them on eBay. Don't bring them to the market then. So anyways, enough of me rambling. Let's have a look at these shoes. So these were 15 bucks. And what are they, you ask? Pair of Amex 90s. My favorite Air Max is the Air Max 90. It's just got a sick profile to it. And this color scheme, you know, it's sort of got this infrared color scheme and this wolf gray and all that sort of stuff. It's just a really, really cool color scheme. A little bit dirty, but nothing that a clean can't fix. And you know, some dirt on the uppers and all that sort of stuff. They are size 12s. Now I prefer Air Maxes in a little bit of a bigger size because they just seem to be a lot more comfier bigger size which just doesn't make sense but anyways uh the insole is a piece of yoga mat foam and there's oh look at look look at all that in there Blah. there i hope these are real then the insole is uh, a little bit worn out it's still got the nike branding but it's a bit worn out looks like i'm gonna be cleaning shoes all today this is not how i expected to spend my sunday afternoon and the tag on this Five three seven three eight four zero three nine made in two thousand fourteen. So I will have to check that and do some research and see what that comes up with. But otherwise, yeah, they're run of the mill Amex ninety shoes. But I like the profile of them because they're just they're so comfortable. Amex are so comfortable, especially the Amex nineties. They're just comfortable. And as I said, I like the color scheme of them. They look really, really sick. See, the Vans were were grey and red. These are grey and red. <laughs> the sock tray. <laughs> The Nike darts, they're grey and red as well. Everything's just grey and red today. <laughs> there you go. 15 bucks for these. Can't complain. Need to clean up. I'll be happy to do that. Oh, also, i just seen that there. Someone's torn it. But look, my Air Max 90s that I've got currently now are in worse shape than these, so I'd rather have these instead. Moving on to the last item. And this was provided by John... At the start of the market when I got the Motorola, he pulls this out and I sort of almost had a heart attack. And then he goes, it's for PlayStation. And I went, ah, oh, yeah, ah, oh, poof, okay. <laughs> but he just gave it to me. He's like, do you want it? And I'm like, yeah, I'll, t I'll take it, why not? This here is a light gun for a PlayStation 1. As you can see, it's got the composite thing there. It's plugging to your TV and then it's got the PlayStation. Oh, actually, this might be for PS2 because it's got a USB port. Hmm. I wonder if I plug it into my computer if I can do anything with it. Obviously not, but eh. Like, when he first showed it to me, I was like, dude, what the flip? And I, th I honestly thought it was real because it just looks it. Like, 
when you first glance at it, like if someone just goes like that at you, you just, yeah. Um, but it's got all the little functions on it, all the buttons and stuff. It's made by Topway. I'll add this to my game collection because I collect games and stuff. So I do have a number of like gun titles and stuff for PS2 and PS1 and all that sort of stuff. So it'd be interesting to give this a go and see how it works. I mean, how they were allowed to actually sell these is beyond me. Like, usually they're different colors, like they're green or yellow or something like that to distinguish them from the real thing. But this one's like, yeah, straight up, man. This is, this is crazy. Very interesting. But yeah, this was free, so yeah. That's pretty much it. Sorry, just quickly, here's what the Motorola looks like. Like, it still works. Uh, oh, uh, maybe if you just don't touch the screen, it's fine. Uh, oops. Oh, oh. Am I making... I think I'm making this worse. Oh, no! No! No, the touch screen doesn't work. Yeah, it works. Yay, it works. The touch screen just didn't want to work for a bit. Now it works. Oh, there you go. That's what it does. Okay, so I guess we should tally up everything that I have bought because that is it. That is all that I have. My backpack's empty, that bag's empty, and that bag over there is empty as well. There's bags everywhere. $20 for the Nike Sock Dart Trainers. $15 for the Nike Air Max 90s. $5 for the Vans Old Schools. $10 for the Gucci and Louis Vuitton slipper thingamajiggies. $5 for that PVP PlayStation thingamajiggy. The Motorola and the light gun were free. And the entry fee was $5.50, bringing the total to this much here, because I still can't math. And then for the previous week, it was 15 bucks for the LeBron shoes, 50 bucks for the TV, and, well, that obviously is $65. Math, and yeah, I, well, I'm not going to count that. I'm just letting you guys know. And then five dollars fifty for the um, the entry fee. That'll do it for this episode of Flea Market Finds. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're enjoying the uh, new little intro thing as well. I enjoy going out to the flea market just for random stuff that I find, and, yeah, I'm pretty happy with what I got. Just now a matter of cleaning up these shoes, which, oh, it's going to be a, oh, a heap of fun, isn't it? As I've said, I'm waiting on some DHgate stuff. It's just a matter of it turning up, and hopefully I don't get scammed or they send socks instead of a pair of air mags this time. But that's for another day. That is another story completely. That is it from me. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video, whatever that may be. Probably shoes. I don't know. It'll be something. If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.